What's going on everyone? It's Easy Kid Tech here. Um DSL draft analysis happens every time. It's DSL season two right now. And the other hand was the season, it's simple, okay? And I'm just gonna be kinda of presenting his analysis and presenting the PRs for post draft and also helping out the draft myself, giving kinda of what happened. I don't wanna spoil anything this week one. There's been a few Games haven't already. I don't want to spoil anything, but there's also pick and clues, so yeah. We'll, we'll, I'll probably publish that in next week for week one analysis. So yeah, Detroit Ante, uh, good draft in my opinion. I like it a lot. Tabulu, Salamence, Victoria, and Rotom He loads of months I like to be honest. But the Mian Shell Snipe on me was pretty big. Um, being lost from my draft other than draft or lucha. Um yeah, pretty good draft in my opinion. Um having a look at simples analysis of a good synergy, yeah, I'll agree. Nice split between split up and defense walls, two solid sources of hazards, hazards setting, very resistant to ground or dragon. It is a very bulky draft. Access to a cleric, which is always nice, access to a bolt on core. However, there is a lot of cons in this draft. Your small source of hazard removal that being um, Gligar, <laughs> not an amazing split between attack and special attack, eh. yeah, I would have to agree there, small weakness to fairy and rock, yeah, two qual weaknesses to ice, but in my opinion it isn't the worst thing in the world to be honest, they have resistances, and like aggron, rotom heat, vaporeon, so, and that's not the biggest con. Draft is slightly one side locked into one play style. I will agree there. I think it's very, very balanced. And it's too balanced. It's just a balanced play style. Man, I mean, for names for more. Uh, decent synergy. Very good special attack attacks, but decent boots with my Yaga then. Uh, yeah, it, it's an alright draft. There's just not enough pros compared to cons. Again, the same problem with Region X, to be honest. Um, some of the book one I really like in this draft, Brelum, Gramble, etc. Like, but the ones I don't like, Sublime, and Necro is my plus, my Galaxy and Galaxy need one of the two, in my opinion. Again, no hazard control, quite weak to fire, very fighting. As you can see, there's three Titans out of the week, too. And I'll look with F as well, which is quite interesting. Lack of hazard setting. Big lack of hazard setting. Barely any mods on how to have hazards there. And we got Miami. If it will co cooperate, then we got Miami here. Trend. Jirachi Suicun Arcanine Mingus Dragon. Electabuzz Mega Asshole Mammoth Swan Diancy. Eh, I should probably turn these off. And I just shot up with WX Kudo. Jirachi. Uh, I like this draft a lot. Amazing synergy. There's only two columns for a reason. Got a good core. One downside to this draft, and in my opinion, the only downside. No, never mind. They're doing the third. I like this draft a lot. Mammoth Swine's always fantastic in like format, so it's my absolute like the buzz. Fantastic speech, I've always loved. Alungus, I love Alungus. It's one of the best Pokemon in format, in my opinion, because his bulk is so versatile. And I organized Suicune, which I ran with in season one, and Jirachi, just, Jirachi just, just flinch. Um, yeah, good team. I like it. Both my bills, team I play week one. Again, the draft is so offensive. But there's no cleric, which is how I can sort of point it out. And I think I might, ah, uh, yeah, I did, but yeah. I don't want to give too much away to week one, so oh, I'll give a better analysis of their team next week. Yeah, I'll sink Heliolus, because I'm like, I like this team a lot. I mean, there's only two columns, that means it's a great draft. Togo tomorrow, amazing pick, I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, I like this draft a lot, there's, there's so many pros, two cons, and that that's just, that's just what I'm the draft's fantastic. Then we go to Halifax, I just read on. Who sniped my slash? And yeah, 
again, good job, good call, good post cons ratio. Now, got some terrain stuff there with all of them right to plus top of Coco. We've got some sand stuff with sand slash and gigalith, which I like a lot. So I like this draft a lot, very, very clever. And I think this draft will do very, very well this season. I think good luck TV. Next blazing. Um see all these mobs that were picked. They were picked like twenty minutes. Uh, like at three hours when they were after when they were supposed to be picked, they just just blazing. Right, your draft is all right, but your drafting, yeah, different story. It it just takes too long. And I was like some of this draft. Night come up night. No, I like that come up. Then night night more. It's faster. It's just better. That's not a good sound. Cartana and say good Pokemon. Porygon to Heliolus. Again, most of his draft. What the hell? Uh oh. Mm, okay. That. That just happened. What the. Um. Okay. That that just happened. Pretty professional right here. Um, good draft. I like it. Again, Andrea, very very cool draft. I like this one a lot. It's probably one of my favorites. I think it's gonna be a bit underrated, and I think it's gonna inspire some people to see. Of course, Andrea is in my division, so it's a good team. And in my opinion, the best draft, and we all know it's the best draft. It's Darkrai. He did very very well here, um, with this draft. Very, very well. This is an amazing draft. I th you can just look at the mods and I don't even have to say anything. It's, it's just that good. Then we got um, Daniel. Yeah, good draft. Just I don't know why he drafted the two qualifier weaknesses. But he did, he did some backups. And Chandelure, um, Bola, and Dugtree, which is kind of counted it the best it can. I think he knew he was going into that as soon as he picked them. As his were I have for and he tried to accept as much as he could. Then we got Hum here, Gillian and Vic. This seems disgusting. Crest plus Blissey plus Zapdos. <sighs> Vic, I like you very, uh, much, very much, but you don't do this to people. You don't draft something like this. Um, yeah. Again, I agree with you, simple. Just get rid of the U and this. There we go. Birmingham Spritzy and Bing, a newcomer to DSL. I like this draft very, very much. Some surprising picks, but some surprising, surprising picks are great. Brazilian, Daniel Tambashan, Nelly Go. I like this draft. It is honestly one of the best, and I think it'll do very well. And I, you know, I'll put a bet that it goes to playoffs. We have the Halloween Arcan. Season one champion tap year, and of course in my division just coach. Yeah, but Keldeo Bishop Shaman Oxy. Yeah, this draft's good. And um, the only question pick was Oxy for me. I picked Latias before. It's two bulky psychic types. I remember on my first GBA league though, I was obsessed with bulky psychic types. I let's just not talk about the fact that I had six on my team, six bulky psychic types. Yeah. And this is what you're here to see. It's just the best team. We got Sylveon, Rolling Wash, Tangrove, Halucha, Tartanita, Cleo. Now, I, I just want to point out the, the, the mechanism that the Rolling Wash is Sylveon. Um, I worked a lot in that core. Fighting weakness um, for Magnuson, no problem. We got Sylveon. Uh, ground weakness, Rolling Wash with Levitate. Um, fire weakness, Rolling Wash. Uh, Rolling Wash's weaknesses, let's. Grass, magnetism covers, it's poison and steel wings for Sylveon gets covered by magnetism. It's just a good court. It just really is. And we've got trapping, we've got decent amount. Yeah, that's a lot of pros. Two of decent, that's two, so two cons. I think I, I just like my draft a lot. I may be buying, being quite bad in this video, but honestly, I'm excited. How about the Tesla Death to Tensuai? And honestly, one of my least favorite drafts. 
that uh, just being honest. Um, but it's not bad. It's not bad. If it's very slow, I don't know why you've got to make a turn. I, I just don't know why. But eh, there's, there's positives there. Rosary's fantastic. Volumes. There's a lot of good mods, but there's not. The synergy's good. But there's some mods left out. Like Smeargle. I think Hitmoman is kind of left out as well in, in this um, synergy. And some of the mods just need to be grouped. And some of them aren't. And Smeargle and Hitmoman, which are the last two picks there written down or typed in. So, yeah, good thing. Um, just that is one thing I think I really want to point out. And level spender and level name. I like this draft. Excadrill, Flourish is good Pokemon. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what the music is. But it's, eh. Seriously, it must be good. Uh, Galvanchal at Webs to, to give another option besides Sand. Sand team is good. There you go. PR is then worth post draft if if it'll load it's just not going to <laughs> ah, there we go we're actually moving um but is it going to load ah there we go so first dark with fun sparses we all knew that was happening so my enemy team's in a nine at ten bottom of the list it's London Lavatar <laughs> Damn, uh, that sounded cringy. Dusseldorf does Sigewine make up 12, and Birmingham Swiss can make up 14. I'll spend them in between empty at 14 and 15, as Helsing Gilisks and Port Arch Ping as Commissioner Nuru and Tabig and Mike are at 7 and 8. Miami, oh yeah, fuck, I've already done them. Honum Hercules and Halifax are dragons, the two H's there at 6 and 5. Now I'm in New York and two here. Season 1 champion again is at 4. Buffalo Bills McCallie, of course, is at number 2. And then the lap Lapras is 3. Yeah, try to make that cool. <laughs> and let's move on. Actually, there might be spoilers in the bowl predictions. But, I wish they prep for me this season. I was just going to get the match. Um, or, or this just happens again. We have a prep and a match this season. Uh, for my matches this season. And that's going to be exciting. I'm going to be uploading them, and yeah. I'm excited for this season, and good luck to everyone involved, and I'll see you guys next time.